Okay, in this video, um, we're going to look at how to do some uh, basic housekeeping in R, so some um, basic uh, utility um, uh, functions, procedures in R. We're going to use the uh, MMM data set that we got here, so it's just a bunch of people starting with the name M and with various bits of data. So the first thing we need to do, if I just run an LS in here, we see that MMM is not there. So the first thing we need to do is create MMM. So we saw this in a previous video. We assigned to MMM, or I could call that whatever I wanted. So I could call that whatever I wanted. Read.csv, and then the, the path to the file. It's on my desktop, and it's called MMM.csv. Oops. And if I run that, And if I now do an ls, we see that MMM is there. So in this particular occasion, MMM is quite small. Um, so I can actually see the whole thing without too much of a problem. But what will often happen is you'll get huge data sets, and you can't look at the whole thing. So you might just want to see the, uh, the variables that you've got. And that's actually helpful here. So you use that using the names function. So the names function, if I run that, just outputs um, uh, the various names in our uh, data set. So name, age, sex, height in meters, weight in kg, home, dot postcode, savings in pounds, and random numbers. They're the variables in my data set. Um, if we want to take a look at our data set, we can do so uh, sorry, if I want to take a look at the first few rows of my data set, I can do so with the head command. Um, so if I run that, we're seeing just the first six entries of uh, our data set. And then I can also use the tail command to see the last six entries of uh, my data set. So nothing extraordinary there. Um, but they're very useful uh, little functions to be able to get quick looks at your data set. So if you've got a huge data set and uh, you read it in, that might be the first thing you want to do is look at the, the variables um, or just look at the first few rows and the last few rows. I often I have to do that. We'll just take a look at, at a couple of things. Um, okay, so now a very, very important command. Uh, because all we're doing there is actually still just looking at the data sets. Right? But we don't know what's underneath, so what R thinks our data is. To do that, we look at the structure of a data set, so str. If something's not going right with your data sets, um, you're, you're applying a function, you're not quite sure why things aren't working, as we'll see when we go further along, using the str is very, very important. Um, so if we look at the structure of this data set, we see various things. So we, first of all, we see the name of all our variables. And we have a little bit of information. So there's 13 observations. We already saw that. There were 13 rows, and there are eight variables. And here we have all the variables. And so we also see what they are. So for example, we see that age is an integer, and we see a few values. Um, so height in meters is numeric, a few values. Uh, but we also see here this name is a factor. Now, I don't want to go into what factors are too closely into this um, uh, in this video, but if we look here, they're basically what it's the default way that R um, stores strings. So when it reads a string from um, uh, a CSV file, the default value here is to read them in as factors. Now that's actually a very efficient way of storing data, and we see here there are these 12 levels. Um, and if we scroll back up to our, our first thing. We see that is because if you look here, we had two melodies. So there were a whole bunch of uh, variables, but there are actually only 12 uh, different names. Um, and if we look at, for example, the sex factor, that's got four uh, levels. And that is because our gender, our sex here, was M and male, F or female. But you might want to actually uh, have your... Um, so in general, it's great to have things as factors. Uh, they're, they're much more efficient. But you might also want to um, 
want to have them as strings. So now to do that, we're just going to read in that CSV file again and pop it in the same place. But now we put in this variable, so string as factor, and we just set that to false. So by default, that is set to true. Um, and now we're just setting it to false there. So if I run that, oh, let me just see what the error is there. Oh yes, it's factors. So if I run that, oh, let me just figure out what the mistake is there. Ah, it's uh, strings, not strings, all right? Now if I write, read that, that's all gone through, and if I just do an str on MMM, uh, we see that they've taken those variables as characters. Now, that's a very basic um, set of procedures, a uh, set of functions, so names to get the names of variables, head and tail to get the top and the bottom of your data set, and structure to take a look at what you've got. So structure is a great command because it'll just very quickly give you some information and a little snapshot, a snapshot of your data. We've also very briefly looked at factors and how to turn them off if you wanted to. But in general, they're there because they're very efficient.